Yields back. For what purpose does the gentleman from Oregon seek recognition? Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In a bizarre rant yesterday, President-elect Donald Trump said he would, quote, be the greatest jobs producer that God ever created. Mr. Trump might need to rethink that statement, given his top priority is to repeal the Affordable Care Act. Make no mistake, Mr. Speaker, while the Republicans haven't given us any details about an easement policy at all, we know exactly what will happen if they repeal it. Millions of jobs will be lost. Since the ACA was passed in March 2010, the U.S. economy has added more than 15 million private sector jobs. The unemployment rate has been cut in half. In fact, the longest street in private sector job growth began the month the ACA was passed. And now, folks on the other side of the aisle, they want to risk all that going away by repealing the law. A recent study has found that repealing the ACA would kill 2.6 million jobs in just one year, including 45,000 in my home state of Oregon. 30 million Americans will lose access to health care, and $350 billion gets added to our budget deficit. Mr. Speaker, we can't afford the reckless ACA repeal policy. I urge my colleagues to reject attempts to repeal the law and focus on ways we can fix and improve our health care system while creating jobs. And I yield back. The gentleman's time has expired. For what purpose does the gentleman from Georgia seek recognition?